Surprise Lake Camp is a United Church camp located 15 minutes east of Edson, Alberta. We are a semi-wilderness camp that started in 1951. Camping. Well, the word camping to me has like a lot of stereotypes attached to it. As a child, I never went to camp, and so camping always meant to me, um, you know, going tenting with my dad. Over the years, I've realized that camping is more so just getting away from the confines of the city and the buildings and the cars and just being in nature and wilderness on whatever level. Camping to me is just a time to get away from the city, I guess, or wherever you're from. Uh, just relaxing and having a good time and just connecting with people in a, you know, a more simplistic environment. Finding like your inner spirit and getting in touch with nature. And getting back to basics more than anything. just realizing how little you really need to have fun and to just kick around, be alive. A day at camp. We'll have a party at Morning Circle. Wake up, get all, get your sleepies shaken off. We have four blocks filled with fun-filled, exciting activities. We do stuff like outdoor ed, where you go on nature hikes or scavenger hunts, or we'll learn how to build fires, learn how to build lean to And we have CD in the morning, which is Christian development. So that's usually like, you know, we talk about God, we talk about spirituality, um, focusing on yourself, like internal reflections, meditations. We also have waterfront block in the morning, so that's usually with our lifeguards. So you'll do canoeing or learning your strokes or pond studies. This summer we did uh, a rotation of cabin time, so that was a four o'clock. Then in the afternoon we have a couple hours of waterfront. And the sun's nice, we go swimming, we go canoeing, do whatever you want, build a sandcastle, do a lot of high energy stuff here, so it's really good to every now and then bring it back down. We have what, are, what we call interest groups. And give the kids a couple options, like a more athletic sports activity oriented option of something to do, and then a more like crafty work with your hands oriented option. After dinner, we have a camp wide game that everybody plays. And then after our camp wide game, we have. Oh, wait, you know, it's time for rowdies. Campfire, which is one of my favorite things to do. It's you sing a whole bunch of rowdies and mellows and have your skit. It's real. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to go to the If you look at me, you think that you will see. Penguins salute. And then we have Vespers, where we just kind of like have some reflection time on our day, on life, on camp, on ourselves. After Vespers, we have Coco or you go straight to bed. <laughs> and then the same thing the next day. It's a pretty structured day, but every now and then there'll be like a random day where we'll throw something in like... Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go! The town show on the last night. Each week we do like a mud walk, which is really cool. Uh, I've always been a fan of the mud walk. I like it because you get dipped in big puddles of mud and get really dirty. I really like the camp out that we did. It may not have been really far away, but me and my friends had a lot of fun. Slip and slides, we did that this summer. Spontaneous slip and slides are cool. My favorite would be capture the flag. It's really fun because like everyone's going everywhere. Probably go canoeing, swimming, or playing murder ball. Um, the games. Mud soccer. Ah, uh, secrets of Surprise Lake Camp. Where to begin? Chop down our trees. The food here. Yeah, pretty good. There's always a good sunset. Okay. 
the dock at night because you can stare at the stars and once in a while catch a glimpse of the northern lights. The sauna is usually just a nice place to hang out and have fun and spend some time with staff and friends. There's a lot of really cool stuff about this camp. I mean, our buildings are cool, our cabins are all individual and unique and we have a lot of really cool stuff, but I mean, none of it actually happens without the people, so. It's full of spirit, uh, and that spirit gets transferred into the people. There's a, a unique and a, a good variety of different people out here that make this camp what it is. Just the nicest people, the most accepting people. It made me feel comfortable immediately, and I think that was one of the main things that made me love this place so much. You make best friends here. Um, everybody just kind of welcomed me into their hearts and into this place. And it's really like a moving, awesome experience. Just the place, uh, and then add all the people in, and then add all the campers, and add the good food, and the fun activities, and you have surprisingly camp. This is probably the most special place. What makes Surprise Lake Camp the best place on earth? The whole survivor experience, the going out in the woods and making the lean-tos and... The feeling that you get as soon as you step onto this place. It's really simple and it shows year after year that you don't need a ton of stuff. Our camp brings you back to nature and shows you what God really made in the world. Nature is good. A lot of good people here, cool counselors. The surroundings, how close you are to the elemental world. It's peaceful here. Everyone can be goofy, everyone can be spontaneous and just drop the ego and be who they really are. What we have here is enough. Physically we don't really need much to be happier. And like spiritually and emotionally, we just really need each other. All I want to say is that it's like the best camp I've ever come to. People just fall in love with it. It's been the absolute funnest thing ever. I love SLC. I just love the place. <laughs> there isn't a person that I've met that's come here for a day, a week, and doesn't want to come back. You just need to come and try it out. These camping days and friendships too, my friend. Mm -hmm. And as the years go by